No, I was not recording. I don't know what the hell. I was just like, oh, wait for us to actually start. I don't. I don't. Usually, remember. you just hit the button as soon as you. So get you get hit the button. Or you chat. You got to do your no, clapping, man. Hey, wait. Can we hit record and then Are... make fun of him about not starting the recording? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dungeon Brew. Welcome back, everybody, to Dungeon Brew. This is episode six, our mid-season uh, finale of the Ninth Ascension, where our party is coming together. Uh, to kind of deal with the situation they faced last week. They'd gone out and destroyed a blue dragon and then met some Suheans on the road that were uh, not necessarily allies, only to come back to realize that a great number of their company, of their army, had been wiped out by Vukari and that the Vukari would be assailing on them the next morning. So our adventure starts tonight with our group, what direction is north? Yes, it is north. Uh, probably not the direction these gates are facing for the map that you guys have in front of you. So we are starting our adventure tonight with the morning after the party returning back to Leerhain. Uh, they have had a conversation with the Surger. He has asked them to conceal the death of Gabriella that happened the day prior in hopes of having unison among uh, the Carrion Council and the Ninth Council, as well as the Archon and before the sun has risen there are horns sounding from the walls um, sounding in the distance as the Vukari are beginning their uh, siege upon Learhain. Our heroes are awoken from their sleep, uh, urged to get into their battle gear to grab their weapons and head toward the walls. You guys only have moments uh, to respond Anything that you are doing as they are kicking in your doors, yelling at you to come to arms and to rush to the walls to help defend the city. Uh, Clearly not enough time to get a cup of coffee, so. Um, yeah, and, well, and, and the problem is Starbucks isn't even open. Yeah. yeah. Um, Just grab the whiskey. <laughs> Erdemir is going to ask the Axeman which way is north. He's just, yeah. And, and he will point to you, um, confused... Uh, by the, the question um, and it just assumes that Ispolini don't know their directions unless the sun is out and he will point in the northern direction. Okay, good. Is, is which my is which are coming to fight along the walls? <laughs> <laughs> she probably brought your daughter too. I uh, will probably be <laughs> remaining back with the Carrion Council. Okay, I will send Need or I will take Need to her <laughs> prior to going to the walls. Any okay. directions you want to give her? Uh, just a very significant look. <laughs> North. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds good. Uh, Sircon. Um. No, I'm gonna get on what I need to get on and head to the head to the wall. All right, excellent. Uh, and it sounds like you had just asked for directions, Eretmir, before picking up your own weapons and realizing that you're going to be fighting for the Suhians once more. Yep. <laughs> uh, I might even get to kill a dragon. You might get to. And Hale. Uh, getting my battle gear on and finding my Voivodes. Very good. Uh, Mihail, as you are preparing yourself, even before you leave, your grandfather will find you, and he will uh, hurriedly uh, whisper to you, uh, I do not know who will be in Vukari's company, yes, but see a gold dragon if you do. We should kill it. We need it anyway for the vellum in order to make our vakalak. What part do we need? Um, he's asking that if you see a gold dragon to make sure that you kill it because we need its skin to make the vellum for the book. Ah, okay. Yeah, I missed the skin part of that too. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Dwarf is hard to understand. He's a very confusing uh, young old man. <laughs> I get that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so you all are going to then make your way towards the walls. Um, the sun has not started coming up yet. It's still fairly dark uh, across uh, the landscape as you guys are making your way up. Uh, for the three Stuhians, you guys each have an archer company 
that are with you. And Erdmir is coming up in the rear with an X-Men company that has been assigned to him as you guys approach the walls. As you climb up onto the walls and kind of look across, um, it's hard to see everything fully through the dark, but you do see a number of different Bukhari uh, coming your way. Some are not yet transformed. They have not shedded their skin to take the shape of an animal, um, carrying short bows or clubs in, in some manner. There are some that have already transformed into um, the same type of like birds that you've seen before, um, flying in the air, uh, looking for an opportunity to strike down. There are others that are much larger. They've taken either the form of the, essentially a griffin, um, some that have taken the form of the Bayis, which you've seen in your battle on the night of London. And then you also uh, see uh, some larger ones that have taken the shape of a bear that has spikes coming out of the back. Um, of its shoulder blades. And all of these are coming in various um, groupings towards the walls. And I think to start off with, we're gonna roll initiative as you guys are climbing up, seeing them coming towards you. Okay, so if everyone rolling initiative, we are ready to start our first mass combat in trying to defend the front gates of Leerheim. It looks like Don is up first with your army of archers, your bowmen. So, uh, my archers will uh, move a little bit closer along the walls there, and we're going to target uh, the Lightfoot Vukari, which I believe are like a four to hit, right? They are. So, six? Ooh, a six in the Lightfoot Vukari. That is going to kill them. Damn right. All right. So, Don, yeah, your archers immediately step up, fire their arrows, and murder one of the companies of Lightfoot armies with a volley of arrows very quickly taking them out of the game. Um, we then have a heavy foot Bukhari company that is moving up the center road towards the gates. Um, another heavy foot Bukhari and moving up right behind them. These are some of the largest ones on the battlefield. They have some unarmed Bukharis that are also moving with them. Doo -doo -doo. And a light foot Bukhari is gonna start flying in your direction but they are not able to make it up to the walls, Don, and that is going to put Sir Khan up with his bowman on the wall. All right. Um, he is also going to target the Lightfoot Vakari right there. Nice. Ooh. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Is this number three that you attacked? Um, Number two. two. Number two. Okay. Yeah, that immediately is going to take out that company as well. So the second archers shoot their volley from Sir Khan and take out another company of Bukhari. Derma Hale, can you follow it up? You have your archers on the wall as well. All right, uh, I'm gonna go with this last set of uh, light foots in the air. Okay. Oh my gosh. Five HD, they only have four. So that nice. is going to take them out. Excellent. As well. So it looks like all of the Lightfoot Bokari have been taken off the battlefield in the first round. Yep. Our unarmed Bokari are going to move towards the walls. Uh, they do not have enough in order to get up there. I should have asked this question earlier. Bowman and melee. Um, does that. It does not affect them. No. You okay. just keep rolling it like it is. Yeah. Okay. I think we talked about that a little bit Did last we? week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I don't remember. <laughs> it happens. Uh, I'm guessing that your healers are remaining behind the wall with Erdmir and his company of axemen and not taking any action. Correct. Um, Unless so anybody Air else has objection to that. So Erdmir, that'll put up you behind the walls. The um and uh he's just gonna be working on some morale with them you know kind of doing some chant war chants getting them going pumping them up you know just yeah that's all, right. all we really can do yeah oh, it up. yeah we're gonna be grunting raising the morale getting them going playing some axe tic-tac-toe you know <laughs> all right that is going to conclude our first round of combat moving into the second round you guys have a total of six to try to destroy the company at the front. Eric Mir, this is going to put you back up front. You're back there dancing and jiving with the Axemen. Yeah, we've actually moved on to charades right now, um, <laughs> doing different things. The companies are trying to guess what, what they're acting out. All right, excellent. 
Uh, that'll bring up the heavy foot Vakari. So they're running towards the walls. Uh, the unarmed Vakari are moving with them. Uh, we still, of course, have the... Come on now. Uh, we, of course, still have the healers that are back here with you, not engaging. Sircon, that is going to put you up next. Uh, they're going to go for the light cavalry in front of them. All right. All right, Light Calvary uh, is actually a five to hit. So those all hit, yeah. That is a six to its HD, leaving it with four. It is still coming at you. It is not completely down. Don, you are up. Uh, targeting the Lightfoot Bukhari as well. Oh, we did have well, one more. Well, sorry, there's, there's another company. Approaching yeah, there is another one. company, yeah. Ooh, and only two of those, or a couple of those actually hit, so it is still standing. Yep. Taking two HD. Medium Calvary is moving up. They're getting closer to the wall here. Sir Mihail, you're Bowman. I think we are going to go after that Medium Cavalry that just took the lead. That oh, one is a yeah. six to hit. Mm -hmm. You got that by ease at the front of it. It takes a six to hit it. So you turn your arrows toward it. And you get one hit on that medium cavalry. The light cavalry is now able to fly up. This is one of the armies of griffins that comes flying up on the wall to attack the bowmen of Sircon on the far end. Uh, they are rolling 10 HD. 10 hit. I don't know if that's even the word I need. 10d6 is what I need to say, I guess. Okay. Let's see. And your bowman take Our, a to hit. Four. Yes. Three, five. Well, five to hit. Seven. Is it a five to hit with me? Uh, you are a six, but your bowman take a four to hit. Okay. All right. If I remember, yeah, four to hit. So it means okay. that if it overstrikes, only six right. is going to hit you. Right. All right, so they do four damage to your bowman. Your bowman is the second company. I'm in Correct. Here. Yep, so they're still standing, but they are injured. And uh, for Don's army, you're going to see these light foot moving your direction, but they actually cannot get to the wall yet, Don, to attack the company. And we're moving into the third round, with Eric Mir still at the top of the round. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys are alert. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, yeah, we, we did charades. Um, I guess we're kind of trying to do hangman. It's a little bit difficult. Um, like I'm holding one of them up with my arms because I'm taller than them. And yeah, but we're waiting. <laughs> Come on, guys. All right, uh, Don, you're up uh, here on the walls first with your army of bowmen. All right, um, I'll go ahead and fire on the light foot Mukari that are approaching. Yeah, so you have this whole army of birds flying oh towards God. you, whirling in. All the bowmen wow. fire and miss. Uh, they are tearing straight through that, coming onto the wall to attack you. <laughs> Let's see. This is going to only be two that they can fight with, because you've taken out half their company, so they don't have a whole lot of firepower here. And they miss you right back. They are unable to get through you to your defenses uh Sircon. all right so you are up on the wall you have that army in front of you fighting at your bowman and they are at four hd now correct uh, okay. they would be at six hd now because they they're at six fight. yeah right 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 so six plus your three would be nine um so Sircon's gonna first bins they're here he's gonna call for the healers okay um and then he'll attack the griffins that are now on the wall yeah, you get a solid hit uh, doing two damage to their company. Right. Yeah, so they are still up and standing. Okay. This is going to get much smoother as we practice this out. All right, you called for the healers to come up. Mm hmm. So the healers will start running up the back way in your direction. Uh, they're going to get to about, well, they can probably double move and get to here. So they could heal from this position if you wanted them to. If they yeah, can heal from there, yeah. How many, you want them to heal you the full for your company? Uh, do two. Uh, which would be your full? That would be bring you back fully, right? Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, it would. Yeah. All right, so they'll do two. 
expending some of their life in order to heal your company up on the wall. That's why they're there. Sir Mihail, you... Uh, actually, you're not up. You got the army attacking Sir Khan's yep. first. Yep. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna deflect, parry, dodge. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, they only got four to hit with, and they hit two sixes. They hit two oh. of them. Yeah. They give, dog. give you right back the damage that you got back, and that's Meanwhile, gonna. Meanwhile, I rolled eleven and got zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love dice. All right. All right, Mahale, that is you with your bowman on the wall. You got a number of uh, companies now coming towards the gates to start swinging at them. This next round, it looks like there's going to be about six on the gates. All right. Uh, which one did I hit last time? I think you I hit shot the, the one that cavalry. is now on the, now on the gate, yeah. Can I... I can't hit him from here, can you, I? You can. You can. Okay, yeah. I'd like to go after him again. All right. Shooting at the Baiz at the front of the gates is going to award you two sixes. Nice. Against That's good right. hit. Very nice. Taking a quarter of his health off. Yeah, we'll take it. And we are back at the top of the round. Meeting Calvary on the gates. Uh, he is oh, down. God. Oof. He's down. Oh, that's the wrong one. Come on. Still rolled the six. He's down a little bit. I'm not counting that one. <laughs> he rolled three sixes on it. Oh. Not good. Uh, then we have the unarmed Vukari that is also attacking the gate. Looks like they're going to have three. And that is Damn it, Joshua. Another six. <laughs> John always tells people not to play me in dice games. <laughs> I thought the smaller companies wouldn't be a problem. The way you roll. <laughs> Next company comes up and they hit it two more times. Just barreling through this. It looks like Eric might get to actually engage in this fight after all. Uh, the, the cavalry is working on attacking the bowmen. Yep. Up there with the Sircon. Uh, they do one damage to your bowmen. Lightfoot Bukhari are over on Don's company. They only have two HD that are left with them, though. And Don, they miss completely with you. This is going to bring up two more unarmed Vukari onto the gates to roll. And Eretmir, why don't you let us know what's happening in the back while these guys are attacking the gates? <clears throat> well, um, we kind of hear the sound, so we're, we're trying to let out our best uh, yells. Um, I had to stop a few of the guys. They were making dirt angels. Uh, it was just not the right time. Um, and uh, getting them whipped into shape. We're ready. We're kind of excited. So back to you. <laughs> when, when, Excellent. When does, the, uh, when does the perineum sunbathing occur in preparation for the battle? When the sun uh, comes up. We have that actually right. timed at, at round six. I see. I see. Yeah. So they yeah. still haven't made it through. Exactly. Uh, uh, those two That's other great. armies are beating on the gates, but they are not having any progress in, in helping knock them down. Don, you are up with your company. Uh huh. One. Do a solid one mm. damage to the company on you, so they are still so, standing. I want to point out of 20 dice rolled, I've gotten one hit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next heavy foot are up front, and they have uh, six total HD to them, giving them 66 on the attack, uh, which is going to give them one against the gate. The gate is down to 16 out of 25. Zircon, you are up with your army of bowmen. All right, still, I'm gonna try. Still it. fighting off these light cavalry. Take out these guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that that doesn't do it. do it. That'll do it. It doesn't do it. What? What? Yeah, they, they have six out of ten. That's three. That brings them up to nine out of ten. They're still a small part of that company standing. I hit him six the first time, right? I hit him six the first time. Two the second time. Three this time. That is that is more than ten. Well, maybe I, maybe, That's maybe, math. I, maybe I did fuzzy math. All right, we'll kill them. I'll give it to you. <laughs> He's gonna. All right, cool. Thanks. Rewind the footage. We'll, we'll know when John cuts this what the truth of it is. All right. We have all the numbers in the chat. It's in the chat. Up. <laughs> I can see it. Six. All right, Sir Mail. 
Can I move? Real All quick? Right. Oh, wait, oh, yeah, never yeah. mind. I yeah. can't move. Oh, that's true. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to keep going after that medium cavalry. Try and take that guy down. Oh, look at that. Two more. Nice. Two more. Two solid hits against his HD. Whittling away. All right. The healers are still out here. They've used two of their HD. Anything else you guys want them to do this round? Probably they can heal up on top of the wall, right? They could heal the Axemen theoretically on the wall. Yeah. Yeah, I want the healers on the wall. All right. They'll move up here on the wall. Within range of the Axemen, but on the wall. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, this My wall is a little crowded. This Vukari cannot get through the lineup that's there. So this is going to take us into round five. Eretmir, you're again at the top of the round. That is, what, three tens in a row? Yeah. Uh, we, you yeah. Know, we're, um, we're probably setting up. We're, we're a little iffy if we're going to fight. Um, we might do some sunbathing. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That will put up our first group. Uh, here, the armor Vukari can't get through, which means that the Lightfoot are going to be attacking Don's company still on the wall. They only get 1d6 on their roll, and it is successful. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that makes that Is this tracks. death by a thousand cuts now? <laughs> Don't worry, I won't hit him. <laughs> um, yeah. Let me find your bowman here. Okay. It's like one bird's flying around pecking you guys. And yeah. you're all trying to swing and hit him. Or yeah. shoot well, we, have, we have bows. We're just firing our, our arrows straight up in the air. <laughs> They're shooting each other. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's the, the bird didn't hurt us. We shot ourselves. <laughs> Alright, Sircon, that is going to put up your army as the unarmed are able to do any damage to the gate. Alright, so... Sir Cohn's going to order his bowman to move on top of this tower here. Okay. Just to get, some, get a little more in range. Um, go for... Yeah, I can hit that. I'm going to go for this one. Unarmed one, I think. Okay. Yeah, and they're a four to hit, correct? Uh, they are a four to hit. And I have eight units left. Yeah, that's going to be three, which kills them. All right, these all are able to do one more damage to the gates of the medium cavalry there. Uh, the heavy foot is next to them. They are going to get 6d6 on their attack against the gate. All right, so they swing and they do one damage to it, and Don, that is going to put up your company. I'm Definitely. anticipating uh, uh, just a ridiculous number of fives and sixes that I don't all need to kill one. <laughs> Every one of them. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, look at that. That's yeah, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Three sixes. Awesome. Love that. And Love that everything will, about that. That will destroy Excellent. the light foot Bukhari swirling around your head. Sir Mihail, you and your company. Alright. Uh, we're gonna keep going after this medium cavalry. Kill him eventually. Nope. Not with that roll, you won't. Yeah, none of those are successful hits against them. All right, uh, the heavy foot, the next unit of them are going to be swinging at the gates. Yeah! Three! Yeah, that was a good hit. Beautiful uh, hits against it. Uh, anything for the healers? <laughs> Heal the gate. Uh, <laughs> I think we need some engineers for that. I say, do we have any, like, boiling tar or anything like that? I tried to get gravy. There was talk of boiling uh, gravy. Last yeah, there, there is not boiling tar, unfortunately. I feel he like didn't our say military no failed in that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, everyone else will miss in that round, which will put you in your final round at the gates. Oh, goodness. So this is going to start off with the unarmed Bukhari attacking the gates at the top of the round. And we're all at the end of the round. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Okay. Then we have the heavy foot uh, going twice. Both of them have full rolls on it. All right, so they get three more on there between those two armies, bringing it down to seven out of 25 on the first gate. Uh, the healers would then be up if there's anything that you want them to do. No. Give each other wedgies. 
All right, they're continuing to hack away at the gate with the medium cavalry. Eric Mir, you're so, in the back. Yeah, uh, we, we kind of had a split vote, but it was decided we're not going to attack the inner gate to try to help them out. We were we were ready to start bashing on it ourselves just to give them a chance, but <laughs> it was it was very close, but we decided not to. Decided against it. All yeah. right, did the sunbathing went out? Because that was the round six plan. Yeah, it, it did. We thought it would be inappropriate if you guys were all fighting. You look back and saw us kind of oiled up and laying in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want to distract well, that's, the that's soldiers. That's fair. The, the yeah. Bellini way. All right, Sir so um, Sircon's gonna go for. He's gonna keep clearing. Or they're gonna attempt to clear the field anyway. Um, go for another one of the unarmed Vukaris. All right. Ooh, yeah, four on the unarmed Vukari. That takes him out. So pick one doesn't matter. But not that one. Uh, <laughs> right, but yeah. do the other one. Yeah, <laughs> but do the other one. <laughs> I didn't even recognize which one I took off the map until it showed me it's the fine. order. I imagine he won't hit for twice. <laughs> not, not at this rate. <laughs> <laughs> He'll hit once. He'll hit right. once. Whatever. Sir Mihail. All right. Here's hoping that I can kill the medium cavalry. Now. That, that does two damage to the medium cavalry. He's at like half now, isn't he? He is. He's yeah, down he's to five. Mm -hmm. All right, Don. Uh, I mean, for the medium cavalry, the uh, sorry, the unarmed that's close to me. Oh, very good. So taking that up, cleaning up the battlefield, and all that's going to leave is the armored uh, Vukari coming up on the gates with their eight dh. Eight dh. What the fuck am I saying? Eight d six. I don't know. I got too many things going on on this side, and they miss everything. All right, so at the end of this round, I need someone to roll me. Let's go and just start with Eric Mir, because he's at the top over here. Um, a D8, A2. You guys are going to be staying on this map. Huh? Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Wow, OK. <laughs> I mean, this is actually what, would we figure 12, 15%? Yeah, so it should like be twelve point five percent technically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. see, a twelve, and we got it on the first roll. <laughs> We're that game, right. but that means that we can add armies to it, right? Yeah, I, I yes, yeah, but he's can. adding armies too, mm -hmm. right? So we, do we see what's coming at us? Well, I think the first thing is is you roll for the number of rounds, right? Yeah, and he's going to oh. roll the number of rounds first, which is going to be up for Don now to roll the number of rounds. Two d four. So an additional nice. ten, ten rounds. Ten rounds. They the might get through map. the gate now. Oh, we might get a little sunburned. <laughs> 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 All right. So uh, the, what you guys will be doing is that Bukhari have busted through in the back in the uh, residential district, uh, market district behind you guys. And there are saboteurs that are now making their way through of multiple companies behind the walls. So there are going to continue to be Bukhari attacking the gates, taking out the walls, and you're going to have saboteurs now moving through. And your goal is to stop the saboteurs um, or stop the folks at the front, I guess, depending on where it is that you want to move. But this particular role is for the saboteurs in the back. Okay. So okay. I'm currently going to work on putting the new armies that have busted through the walls and found another way in, while they're turning into animals, what have you, to get in there. Um, and then you guys can choose from your list of allies any other companies you want to call to this area for reinforcements and discuss where you would want to place those at.
All right, well, welcome back, everybody. We have returned from our break, and we are entering a stage two of the Battle of Leiderheim as the Vukari lay siege to it. Our party has gained more allies on the battlefield, and we have rolled initiative. Sir Khan is starting us off still on top of the wall. He has gained another uh, bowman group, so you get you now have two bowmen that are with you. Um, you're up, Sir Khan. All right. Um... You know that, you know, I'm sorry, you know that saboteurs are moving somewhere throughout the city, but there are still individuals that are attacking the front gates. Right. Um, okay. Um, I am going to target the medium cavalry. Um, okay. That's beaten on the gate. That's a, that's a six boy. Um, yeah, he's a big boy. I'm going to, I'm going to, Instead of attacking with both companies, I'm gonna I'm gonna split the companies. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have the full company go for him, and the partial company, which is has an eleven, uh, is gonna go after the heavy foot, Bukari, just one of them. All right. Um, since they're both the same, so uh, there's the first one. All right, you're able to do one damage to the medium cavalry, taking out just a, one of their number. And then you're rolling against one of the medium cavalry as well, right? And they right get, heavy, but yeah, and they don't get the bonus, correct? They, they would do? not. They would yeah. not. They just get to roll their regular HD. So it's five. Yeah, and one damage to them as well. well at least you're consistent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. The healers sound like they have moved down from the walkway um, to join Mihail and his. Uh, swordsman that he has called to arms uh, before they head on. But before they have a chance to go, we are going to continue working with those that are beating down on the gates. One of the heavy foot Bukhari is going to attack the gate. And hot damn, there's another two damage on that gate. That poor gate. And Eric Tamir, that is going to bring you up. You are still behind that second gate. Mm -hmm. um, looking at the marketplace and some of the residential districts behind you, knowing there's saboteurs moving throughout, you have called on another Axman company to move with you. So there's now two Axman companies. All right. Side. And we are going to move um, into the city looking for the saboteurs. We're heading down. Um, we'll probably do a double move. Um, so we are just heading down into the um, moving down here um, to get us in with the range. All right. Yeah, so you go sprinting down through the city streets. Uh, there's Tuhians kind of moving all about, um, individuals trying to get their children out of the way. And after sprinting about 80 feet down the road, you're going to see several companies of Lightfoot uh, Bukhari, Unarmed Bukhari, and Heavyfoot Bukhari moving through the streets in your direction. All right, now it's shifting our direction back to the gates. We have the armored Bukhari up there attacking them. Uh, this is one of the bigger groups up here trying to bust through. They're hoping to get through finally, at least this first gate. And they are unsuccessful. They make no progress with it. Lightfoot Bukhari, seeing Eridemir and his group, are going to start flying in that direction, taking the high grounds on the roof. The heavy foot Bukhari that is in those companies, the saboteurs are going to come charging directly at you. And we have the medium cavalry that's on the dates, on the gates. These guys have taken probably some of the most damage of those that are up here. Uh, more unarmed Bukhari coming in your direction, Air Tamir, out of those companies. And Don, that's gonna pin you up. You've called another army of Suhian bowmen to your side to help take out these individuals busting down the front gates. I am going to try and aim for that heavy foot Bukhari with both companies. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, wow. Firing uh, across the way at the heavy foot Bukhari that's far from you. All your archers shoot and do one damage to him. Good God. This is why I don't play games of chance. 
<laughs> All right, Sir Mail, you have the healers in your company. You have the swordsmen with you. Um, you can already start hearing movement down the streets, women and children and even men shouting for assistance and help as battle engages further into the city. All right, uh, so we are going to double move between these houses and make it out to this little plaza here in uh, search of the saboteurs in the back. All right, yeah, moving through the houses, kind of hitting some of the back alleys and finding your way around, moving towards the sounds. Uh, it's not gonna be long until you start seeing Eritrean moving just slightly ahead of you as you are coming off those walls to come and join him. And we have the heavy foot Bukhari attacking the gates up front. And they are unsuccessful in making any progress we have the light foot moving from the back. You guys have a total of 10 rounds. This is the end of the first one, leaving you with nine. And we are starting with Sirkhan back at the top. It's just, you know, healers like to be. Um, I'm gonna do this exact same thing I did last time. Um, Striking that heavy foot? Or you know you're splitting between the heavy splitting. foot and the medium? Yeah, I try and take out one of them at least. So there's my attack on one of the zero, on the heavy foot. Okay. There's the big guy. Yeah. All right. Two damage on him. He's still standing though, and he is still attacking this gate. Yeah. He's got what, three? Two, two left. Two left. Two. And he Head. hits with it. Wow. Awesome. Erdmir, you are up with your Axeman company burning down the streets. Alright, um, we're gonna see how far we can get up here. Okay, um, we're not gonna move completely up, but we're gonna move just a little bit. Try to hopefully not be quite in their range, just a little bit outside of their range. And So, we'll move right there. Alright, so you move just a little bit up the street, about 10 or 15 feet, and... Uh, dig down, waiting for their charge. Yep. All right, the light foot Bukhari coming in your direction is going to fly. They are not going to make it all the way to you. And that is going to bring Sir Mihail up, who's around the corner with his swordsman. All right, so me and the swordsman are going to double move through the plaza and get uh, go between these two houses. And we're going to try and get behind the Bukhari as they attack oh, Aramir. Yeah. And yeah, then sure. the healer is going to stay here by this cart where he's in a bit more centralized location to help people as needed. All right. So the healer's hiding off back to the side and you are moving between the <laughs> to the skinny of the houses to <laughs> circle around the enemy. Single file. All right, this heavy foot Bukhari will be able to make it up to you, but that uses their movement and they are not able to attack Eric Mir. So they run their full distance to reach you. Uh, light foot Bukhari is not going to take notice of Mihail through all the chaos and is going to fly forward as well. Uh, not able to make it to them. Uh, the healers are of course working with you, Mihail, underneath your command. And we are back to the front gates where the heavy foot Bukhari are attacking uh, they have taken some damage from the archers that are on the walls, but it is not enough. They yeah. bust through the first gate. Oh no. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> first gate is open. I feel like they should have to make a morale roll because like they've been bashing on this thing. It comes down and it's like, oh crap, another door. <laughs> Let's just go home. Another freaking door. In all, in all fairness, they've only been beating on it for about a minute. A minute and a half. <laughs> that's that's true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright, you're up, Don. I am ar targeting the armored Bukhari. Uh, oh, okay. Yep. Changing targets here a little bit. Two. Man, that is hey. two damage. Very nice. Stellar improvement. Not really. He's down this. <laughs> he's, 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 it's it's yeah. improvement anyway. Yeah. One to two. No. I guess that's a hundred percent better than the last exactly. one. Exactly. <laughs> you double. There you go. 
<laughs> We're just going to keep up this rate. All right, that armored Vicari is moving through the walls onto the second door to start knocking it down. But they have taken some damage, so that is going to impede them just a little bit. Yeah, they are only able to do one damage to the door on the other side. The unarmed Vukari are moving further on over here, coming up on Eretmir, who's about to have a world of hurt unleashed on him. Maybe. Maybe. It was fine. <laughs> uh, and the heavy foot is continuing to attack the gates as well. With nice. no luck. He All broke right. a nail. Don, you were at the top of the round this time. You hit that armored Vukari and felt energized. Apparently. Uh, I'll take uh, another round at them, actually. That's what I'll do. There's something. Ooh! Oh, five. That Damn is it. nice, dude. That's real nice. That's oh, they nice. Are, they are barely standing. They're at what, two? One, I think. One. One. Yeah. Nice. If you, if you split on the medium and That's the what I'm going to do. You might get them both. That's what I'm going to do. Attempt to do. We'll see. Two for one Cross special. Fingers. Two for one special. All right, we got a little bit of damage on the door by those that are attacking it. Medium Calvary is also moving up to attack the door. Lightfoot Bukhari is coming up to attack these Axemen here. <laughs> I gotta look at your Axemen. They take a five to hit. Yeah. And that is two hits against your Axemen, too. I think it's two. I gotta find them. They're, they're Axemen without anything on them. There they are. And that will bring up the Armored Bukhari. Oh, we did Oh, we didn't. Jonathan attacked them earlier. Sorry. Yeah. They've only got, like, oh, a He got left. shot. Yeah. They got like one bitch. One D6. Come on, baby. Nah, that's a miss. They got a splinter. Zircon, you are up with your company of Bowman. There it is. Bowman will move up, because yeah, that makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. Shoot him, um, through, shoot him through those slits in the wall. Yeah. If I could... You know what? Zircon's up there. Just pretend he is. Because I can't seem to move him. Um, thanks, bud. Uh, this is going to the medium cavalry. This is the first one. Oh, oh my god. god! Wow. Oh. And this is for the armored Vukari. Yeah! There you go. yeah! That's what you needed. He is dead. So I, I want to say I think I know why you missed the is interior the arrows decorating. Hit? No, the interior oh. decorated in this room here that you're shooting from. Look at those rugs. It's like 50 rugs there or something. Um, all piled in the middle. Like it's very distracting for me. It's it's a pyre. Yeah. <laughs> Fun all sway right. is all off. Yeah, uh, here, you are up with your axeman, uh, knowing that one of your axemen is down two d6. All right, uh, they're going to move up and they're going to focus on the heavy foot. Okay. Um, and so, and he is a d6, right? To hit. Uh, he, yeah. He is. Mm -hmm. All right. So you using all your companies against it. Oh, that didn't update. Uh, yes. All right. So that is going to be 20... twenty-six. 26. And wow. Three. Ooh, boom. It's not awful. That's about as bad as I do. <laughs> I mean, he's at half now. Yeah, it halved his health. Yeah, that's it fair. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, see, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. All right. Uh, you have the light Bukhari moving up on your other Axeman group. And those are all misses from it. The heavy foot Vukari now gets to also swing, but you have uh, really riddled him silly. Uh, what taking the out hell half does that. that mean? I don't know, but look at that. He I was the one. We ran one. up. We ran up and said, "Riddle me this." <laughs> and you riddled, and he's riddled me. And he said, he's and he silly. got riddled silly." <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, your swordsman take a d6 to hit, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, so you have your unarmed attacking them, and they do a damage to your swordsman. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Of course. Call it fine. And the other unarmed is going to turn around to come attack them as well. And that's another hit on the swordsman. I like how unarmed, like you have two groups of unarmed that are kicking <laughs> your shit. <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right. All right, Eric Tamir, you are at the top of the round. And you are <laughs> not holding. That. There yeah, we go. That's nice, dude. The Abby oh, foot. God. Yeah. yeah. That uh, destroys him. Yeah, that guy's gone. Yeah. Very nice. Eridamir and your axeman just cut him a new one. It was it was that war charge Eridamir gave. Well, that and, and, and our chant. You know, you know, right. We, we kill them and they're all like, Whee! With yeah. the jazz the, hands. The charades. That's the Espelini you way. You know that you guys were doing before? The charades mm-hmm. just really boost morale. It does. Yeah. There's nothing like doing charades before you go off and murder people. Yeah, you can't teach that kind of uh, camaraderie. <laughs> yeah. Sunbathing. It was great. We haven't got to that. That's the after party. Oh, that makes that's, sense. That's the promise. That's what they're fighting for. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Why they're fighting so <laughs> hard. Know, we might even do some of the, <laughs> the bonfire jumping. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get the that's fire a good time. On both ends. Yeah. All right, the uh, Lightfoot Bukhari did some damage to the Axemen in fighting them. We have the Unarmed coming back to attack the Swordsmen over here. Uh, and they have not been hit yet. Uh, otherwise, we just have a lot of swings and misses all over the battlefield as people are swinging at doors <laughs> and swinging at the Swordsmen. Don, you are up with doors your dodge, man. I am targeting the injured heavy foot, uh, the gates there. Yeah. With both companies. Two more. Two more. Excellent. And Circon, that's going to put you up. All right. We're going to try this again. We're splitting damage. Um, okay. Going against the Median Cavalry first. All right. You nice. did one. They're still standing. We got okay. one left. Yep. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> It's the same guy. We're killing the same guy. Hey! Yeah, that, that that of course! At the last moment, you're like, everyone aim at him! <laughs> there it is. Take him down! Alright, the medium is finally done at the front of the gates. That's going to bring us back to Sir Mihail up the road, who is helping Eritonio take out these saboteurs. Jeez. Alright, so we're going to take out uh, this guy. unarmed one first. Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah! yeah. Wow. You cut right. everything out of him. So that's enough is to it, kill both of those. Kids. Is that like a splash Do damage? I get cleave? <laughs> yeah, cleave. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> they like came up to punch you like, ah, you're like, oh yeah, we have swords. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't and, use and, those and in the first We're going to spread out a little bit. <laughs> they suddenly remembered their character. They were the trying swords. to be nice. So. A uh, little bit more damage on the gate up front. And that's going to take us into our next round. Um, Erdemir, you're at the top. All right. Um, one of the Axemen is going to aim for one of the Lightfoots. Do we want anything the, the healer to do before you attack Erdemir? <laughs> the healer's no, on I'm... Greg's turn. I just had a movement with Greg, so Greg's calling. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, that takes out one of the Lightfoots. And then the other unit is attacking the other Lightfoot. And that'll be two to that one. I feel weird okay. saying Lightfoot. I feel like it should be Lightfeet. Um, and so... Good reference. Eh. Um, yeah, that'll be it. All right. Sir Mihail, you're up with the Swordsman. You have one more unarmed company in front of you. All right, let's see if we can take him out. That holy yeah. god, Jesus! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nine uh, damage to their three. Hey, they are guys. Dead. You you killed guys, them and cured their hemorrhoids. That's why he's the general. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he stands back and watches, and then attacks the weakest enemy on the field. Yeah, yes. that's uh, why he's the general. Anything yeah. you're doing with uh, the healers, Sir Mihail? Um. Probably have him move around the house up towards Eretmir's company. I believe okay. they're 
his axemen might need a little bit of help. Okay, you'll get about half movement since you've taken an action this turn. Um, and that's going to put up Dawn on the walls of this bowman. Yep. So uh, did I get healed that turn or not? No. Okay. I am targeting the uninjured heavy there. Does that do it? The no, uninjured no. one. The uninjured. uninjured. So there, I think there are three and three. We yep. have two, yep. two sets of yep. three. Very good. And then Sircon. Um, he is going to target one of them, one of them, with the with both companies. So it'll be sixteen total. Wow. Okay. That was exactly as much as needed. I don't. I don't want to push it too much. You know. Yeah. Just <laughs> enough. Just enough. All right. Just the focus final fire. Take it out. The final on the door is just one more heavy foot that is attacking it. He misses those. And we have one more final light foot Bukhari that is attacking the Axemen. Uh, but they only have half of their life as well. And they are unsuccessful in that. It's going to take us into the next round. Some morale failure, I feel like. Don's at the top. <laughs> All right. We're, uh... well, this is what you guys are fighting. There's a lot of other stuff going on around Yeah, here. yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm I'm all in on that last group by the gates. Oh, oh god! You, oh, yeah. Lord. that dude is gone. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel Not like this damaging. gateway is just full of arrows. Like you guys have just been. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of. All right, and we'll. Uh, Which says a lot about the we'll, Bowman we'll considering down, we're that close. You know, we're we're gonna start moving toward the the other fight. But that's all right, it. sounds good. Uh, the Lightfoot are still up there to be able to attack. Axemen, and they do some damage to one of the Axemen. Uh, it should only be on a six, not on a five. No, we have the. Oh, sorry, I five. thought it was Swordsman. My bad. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to put up uh, Sircon. Well, we can see that foot from where and he's in range from here, that light foot, so we're going to shoot him with the entire company. <laughs> and Axemen are dead. <laughs> it shouldn't have been a six, but. You that get does, the idea. That does kill him. All right, excellent. So that is going to clear up stage two of the battle. Um, you guys have all the remaining armies that are standing here still with you. Uh, at, in completing stage two of rooting out the saboteurs, you guys will now have an additional D6 to all your rolls uh, for any mm -hmm. attack here or on out. So you can add a D6 to that. Oh, actually, you guys have defeated holding the wall as well. So uh, you guys get an additional 2D6 to every roll. So a D8. Mm -hmm. So, wait, what? What? I don't know about D eight. Two D six. <laughs> so is it? So a D twelve. I was thinking total something like or that. Two D six. You just had, you had another two D six to whatever roll you're doing. Okay. So consider like uh, just a plus two D six to every roll. Sweet. Okay. Um, so uh, that's going to move us over to Don, who's going to roll us our roll with me a D six actually. And you got to add two d6 to that roll. Right. A one. We are going to be switching maps. You guys are going to be hunting down opposing leaders on the battlefield. Every leader you destroy will give you another d6. Uh, roll me, uh, Sir Mahale, a 2d4. All right. And before we move on. Oh so you guys have God. 12 rounds. Um. Uh, can this healer give one of the axe companies, the, the lower of the two, two... Let's see. This guy has four health left, right? Um, he's down... Yeah, four. So yeah, we'll give him three. three. Alright, so you you want to give one of the, one of the axe companies has six wounds, so they're ten. So they're down six. And you want to give them three back? Which will, right. which will damage yeah. your healer up to five, so they only have one HD left to give until they're dead. Just burn the healer yeah. off. Yeah. I'm not gonna... Just burn I really the don't want to kill off the healers. I, I don't want to do that. But he's just running around with one. It's not like he's, he's running, really yeah, he's running well, around I, with I was one. gonna retire that group. No, give him purpose. <laughs> Let him die old, on the battlefield. Old man oh, running around. You don't need to unnecessarily kill people. <laughs> 
It's an eighty year old man what? and, and Aaron, Aaron and Sir Connor just just like kill him. Let him die. <laughs> Euthanasia. Do your duty. <laughs> or we're gonna do our duty on you. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess if there's another eighty year old I gotta go have drinking games with and leave him passed out on the table, fine. So are you guys retiring this guy? I need to know for the, the tracker if you guys are retiring him or... He's the commander, I guess. He, yeah, Mahale's he's, the commander I, of that he's, guy. Yeah. I don't want him to die, so we'll retire him and pull a new healer. Who's yeah, managing right. the healer? Uh, Mahale. Yeah. Uh, sure. Since he's <laughs> so interested in their longevity. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So I have right now oh, Don waste with resources. Don. Right now I have Don with two bowmen. I have Sir Tom with two bowmen. I have Eric Mayor with two axemen. And then Hale with Domard, Swordsman, and a healer group. Is there somebody else you guys were bringing? I'm content with my two archers. I won't. Whatever anyone else wants to do. Something. I'm good with my archer and a half. Uh, I'm good. So Eric Barry, you want a Bowman? You want um, Bowman Eric no, we'll just stick with this. Give me cover fire. Do my best. All right, so you guys go rushing across the inner city of Leerheim. There are some battles that are taking place, but you have heard that generals are amassing on the other side of the city on the east gates. So you have moved across the city, come out of the east gates to see. Um, battle taking place amongst some of the structures that are outside of the city wall. So each of you have taken your uh, companies, you're moving outside of the city wall, um, and you see a number of different individuals uh, fighting out there. Anyone that is cavalry is going to be considered a general. Um, or I'm sorry, anyone that is a six to hit is considered to be a general in this battle. So those are the ones that you will get points for if you're able to take them out. Uh, so we are going to be starting at the top of the round, and it looks like Sirkon is uh, on his game. So you come out, Sirkon, from the gates with your two archer armies and just see Bukhari everywhere. Uh, I'm going to go for the first guy I see. Uh, using the full company. Uh, the first guy you see, is that the armored Bukhari yours? That is the armored Bukhari, yeah. All right, so yeah, you shoot at the armored Bukhari, who is considered to be a general, and do two wounds to him. And that is going to move it on to Sir Mihail. All right, so uh, Domard, the swordsman, and I are going to move up and double move between the tents, and we're going to engage the armored Bukhari, but I can't actually attack this turn. Okay. And the healer is going to hang out behind these tents stalls. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. And the armor of Yukari is right there on you to attack with what it has. And that is going to be two hits against your soldiers. One hit. Uh, oh, one hit. You're right. And then Dawn, that is going to put you up with your bowman. Okay. Uh, I actually think I'm going to go ahead and clear out one of these Lightfoot Bukhari, just to kind of help clear the field a little bit. All right. And that will do it. Oh, actually, that's three, isn't it? So it is still standing. All right. Lightfoot Bukhari flying over the things and coming at Mahale's soldier army. And it is going to miss all of its attacks. We have Heavyfoot Bukhari moving in the back. They can only get so far. Uh, light Cavalry doing the same thing, flying up and over. Uh, as Griffin's another Lightfoot Bukhari coming down from the north. Another Lightfoot Bukhari coming in from the east. And Eretmir, that is going to put you up next. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Don't forget about your extra 2d6 as you guys are rolling these. Um, we are going to do a double movement. Um, so we're going to be sprinting kind of down the field um, to get up here to kind of help cover the flank of Mihail mm -hmm. and uh, we get to here and ready for a, what comes next. Perfect. Uh, that will be a Lightfoot Bukhari flying right up on your company there. And they are successful by doing one damage to your Axeman. Okay. Medium Cavalry 
is also going to be able to reach you. These are by yeast, they're considered a general in this instance, and they are coming at you hard. I'm a little hotter under the collar too. <laughs> it was successful. They only did one out of their 12 D6. Uh, so they did, were not very successful in doing damage. Another medium cavalry coming up on you. I'm a little concerned if one of these rolls as well as Mihail did. Yeah, there's five damage against one of your Axemen groups. Okay. And you guys came up on the heavy foot that's standing there. He is also going to be swinging at it. That heavy foot's way in the back. Oh, who am I looking at? Well, I don't know. Where is he at? Oh, thank you. It zoomed in on the wrong guy. You're right. He didn't do anything. All right. That will put up this heavy foot at the top of the next round. Coming down on the Axeman. That's just one damage against the Axeman. They have one life left for that group. I am at the bottom of the round. Is it one or is it it's at eight? Uh, it should be at you have one that's at nine. Okay. And, then, and another one that has two. So I think that this medium Bukhari is going to end up probably slaughtering these guys. Mm. Yeah. They take out one action group. That was not the one that had done the charades with us. They were a little... <laughs> they were the newcomers. Yeah. Now I'm questioning if I'm moving the right one. Yes, I am. Though I don't know if he should be the one that has the damage on him. <laughs> he misses all of his attacks. He is not the one that should be damaged. No, he's not. I'll swap him around. Ah, and another damage on the Axeman, even though he only gets one roll. All right, Don, that is going to put you up. I'm going to swap these around on this uh, armor. I'm going to use three mana. Ooh, okay. On the medium cavalry I'm pointing at, next to what's his face? Ooh! Eight damage on medium cavalry four. That is painful. He's still standing, but that is a huge hit. Yeah, gotta protect my, my Axeman up there. All right, make sure you get that down on your sheet uh, there, Greg, that he needs three mana. All right, that medium cavalry is now up that you just hit, but it means that he only has four D6 left to roll. And it causes him to fail. Eretmir, you are up. You have one company left with you. All right, we're gonna target the armored. Yeah, we're gonna target the armored. Come on, baby. Nice. Yeah, five damage to him. He's still standing, but that is a great hit. Okay, actually, I gotta take that. I think I rolled the wrong set. Is no. the armored a five or a six? Uh, the armored is a six. Okay. So it only been one. One. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. All right. We got a heavy foot coming down and storming at Mihail. Only one damage towards the swordsman. All right. Light cavalry coming in at the swordsman. And those are all misses. And a medium cavalry coming around on the axeman. Really regret not gra grabbing that second set of swordsmen. No nope. yeah. kidding. Whoa! Don't know. What the Whoa! Hell? Jesus uh, Christ! Uh, um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> hey guys, 123 uh, of those! Sorry about that. I'm gonna uh, be fishing uh, now. Um, <laughs> no, he missed zero. all of them. All of them he missed. Wow. That's a that's a stark difference. Between 123 yeah. D6s? Oh, all misses with another one of the light foot. This light foot is flying over towards the archers in the back. This light foot is swinging up on Eretmir. And that is two damage on them. So you lost two more d6 on that with your Axeman. Mm -hmm. Medium cavalry coming up on the swordsman. Only one. And Sircon, you are up. Save us. Okay, yeah, do um, he's going to go ahead and... Fireball? 
Yes. <laughs> Meteor yeah, swarm. I'm gonna, fire, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fireball. Himself. Um, it's just immolation. I'm, I'm done. Game so I'm gonna over. split my group. I'm gonna do an 11. My 11 d6. The general. And I'm gonna add my 2 d6 to that, actually. I wanna kill that okay. thing. Maybe? I think that's enough, actually. Who Maybe is not. This, on? this is on the medium cavalry four. I think that leaves him with two. That, yeah, that leaves him with two. Okay. And then this is at the light foot. And I put a six on there, and it should be a four, I think. Or a no, two. So, so, two. Is... so it's yeah. dead. Yeah, it's the light foot at the top. Right. Yep. Excellent. So Turn that medium is at one or two left now? Two left. Yep, two left. Dang. Okay. All right. Um, can the healer heal from this distance? Could he heal the swordsman? Sure. He's got six HD to heal with. How many do you want him to heal? Five. Uh, you got to keep him alive. We'll go with two okay right. and then the swordsmen are going to go after the armored Vikari two nice that's a good Ooh, hit three damage and the armored Vikari are able to return that attack on the swordsman so it's much weaker than it was before and they're going to do two right back oh my god all right you all are moving into the Third round? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Of, of the only, battle? Only, only nine more <laughs> rounds of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you do have the option, because you've gained D6s, that you can retreat, but you will lose your D6s that you've gained, and you have to leave your armies behind. No. When do we have I to make I don't decision? think we're at that point yet. Uh, uh, you, get, you have to make it unanimous between you. But, but at, at what at, point? At the, is it like the, at the beginning of the round, end of the round, or any at point? The, where? At the end of the round. Okay. Well, let's get some good initiative rolls, and uh, I'm we, up, we, I'm gonna we do. We're we're yeah, leading the round yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Three, yeah split cards right. at the top. Okay, so just to be clear, the one medium cavalry next to the axeman is he's pretty hurt. He's at like two or one. He's got two left. Um. And then the armored Vukari mm -hmm. that Mihail just beat the tar out of. There's three left. Low as well, correct? He's mm -hmm. three? Okay. We're going to do the, um, 5D. We're going to do 7D6. I'm going to add my 2D6. Or actually, I get an additional D6 now, right? Because uh, we killed the general. Is that at the end of the map? Did we kill a general? We did. We, just killed, we killed one. That, you guys killed uh, one of the Lightfoot. Have you killed the general? I don't think you killed, killed one general. We haven't Lightfoot. killed the general. Oh, okay. We haven't all killed right. The general all right. Yet. No. Seventy-six on the medium guy. Son of a biscuit eater. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a, the general kills are at the end of the map, but I need to make sure I'm tracking this. Do you have killed one so far? I, I thought I we had. I don't think so. I, okay. Uh, We've only killed the Lightfoot. Did we kill someone else? Damn. I didn't think that we had. I um, think it's just the Lightfoot. That was at the uh, the one in front of the swordsman, the one damage. Uh, the armored? Yeah. All right, got it. All right, Don. Sircon's choking in the center of the field. Yeah, yeah. 18d6, you got 1d6 hit. Yep. All right, man. <laughs> I... All right, That's about so... what Don was rolling. Yeah. You guys all start insulting each other. Do better! All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna split here. Uh, I'm gonna do the light foot that is directly in front of me. Um, I have to do some math real quick. So what I I'll do this with my full company, which is eleven. All right. And I will add my two d six, so that'll be thirteen. Okay, on the light foot right in front of you. Yeah. Okay. You only need a four. And you got no, a two. No, I need a five. No, I, but I mean, you needed four to kill it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you get two damage. All right, so my other one that is injured plus my self, which is three, which would be seven, this would be ten, I'm throwing at the 
medium cavalry up there. With the two life? Yeah. There we go. And Got there's it. the two All damage right. that killed him. Alright. So there is one dead. That's Woo! not enough. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, if you end up retreating, you don't get that either. Alright. So does that mean we get an extra D6 now, or yeah, to the question, or is it at the end it, of the map? It's not at the end of the map, so you have to defeat everyone okay. on the map to get them. Because if you ended up leaving without them dead, you wouldn't get them. Well, not we don't have to we don't have to defeat everyone on the map. We just have to survive to the end of the map, end of the rounds, right? To get that. Yeah, yeah, okay. for this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Sir uh, Hill. We're going after the armored Vicari here. All right, he's got three life left, and that will do he's it. He's got yes. zero. Die. The healer is going to come over here and give the Axemen three life. Okay. Ooh. And that should put the healer down to one. It does. He's at retirement age. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts walking off the battlefield. I'm done. Go in, a young recruit. Go out and eight year old veteran. Damn it. I was one two days battle. from retirement. <laughs> All right. Uh, that is going to bring the medium cavalry up against the axemen. And only one damage against them. Oh, I think I actually rolled the wrong thing. There's actually X-Men are fives. So that's three damage against them. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. There goes that healing. Yep. Well, I know. better than them dying. <laughs> All right, that Lightfoot Vicari is coming up on Don's group. And Don, you're Bowman, which is a D4, right? Uh, well, a four, but yes. Yeah. They only got two. And both of those are hits. Ouch. Screw you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, buddy. That's not nice. There, man, you are up with your company. All right. Uh... <laughs> your Axemen got five, plus their five to hit gives you 10. Plus your right. three is 13, plus your two is 15. So we are going to... I'm going to target this uh, light foot next to me. So, okay. And let's see, it is a... It Lightfoot is a, is a D4? Uh, five to hit on Lightfoot. Okay. Yeah, that does it. You kill right. him. You guys are cleaning up a little bit now. Sorry, man. I was trying to help clear that up, but there's so many. I know. I know. And when you you know you roll 18 and you hit one, it, it, it makes a big difference. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All right, looks like the swordmen are and they hit one damage. Every freaking time. Every time. Oh yeah, at least one or two. Even when they're matter. only rolling two dice. If they roll one <laughs> dice, they'll get two sixes. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> these guys are attacking the Axemen. Come on. There's, There's two, two more. There. Those Axemen, I think, are dead. No, they're uh, three. Nope. Yeah, because yeah, the healing. They're, they're still up uh, a little bit. They'll be Heavy dead foot. soon, though. They are. Yeah. They're dead now. Heavy foot are moving yeah. in on them. Oh, hey, it's just only... Eric Mir up there by himself. <laughs> Another two damage. We got one left. One. Woo! Hold up, baby. Don't worry. The next ones are going to hit like four and just insta kill Eric Mir. <laughs> yeah. All right. The Light Bukhari are going to do two damage to the swordsman. Fuck. They're down to two life. Yeah, they'll be dead soon. Lightfoot also attacking the swordsman, and they miss everything. Medium cavalry attacking the swordsman. This is the moment of truth for him. Yeah. Ooh, oh my god. Fuck. Uh, that is, uh, kills the swordsman outright, and yeah. two of that bleeds over and hits Domard. So he's got one. He's got one. one. Left. Yep. Armored Vukari. Attacking at the front, they have six HD against the Axemen. There's one life. Yeah. Paragraph's gonna take something. Yep, that is two. three. So Eretmir is going to take two. Well, it depends. Does the first six go to him or does the five? I think the first six should go to him. Well, uh, the, the five and the six goes to them and then the six goes to you. So you actually only take one? Is that right? 
No, there was well, only he, one He had left. one life. I think he's, his point is, is the five wouldn't hit him. Oh, yes, yes. I, I would I would concur. I can't find your axe, There they are. That means they're still alive. <laughs> they're hiding. Um, and that's at the end of the round. Are we retreating? <laughs> you guys got you know, a choice. I, I think we should ask them if they want to surrender. <laughs> I, I feel like... We should give them that opportunity. No, yeah, we probably should retreat. If we don't, both of you are dead. There's just no surviving this at this point. Which is very unfortunate because we have so many archers in the field. We do. Yeah, we're losing four sets of archers. But there's there's no way, like, you guys are dead next round if we don't retreat. Now, if we retreat, is Domar going to end up dead? Possibly. He's going to end up dead if you don't retreat. I mean, if you... Don't retreat. Well, yeah. <laughs> Alright. You yell that's, out, Domar, hold part. the field! <laughs> <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Who is also like an 80-year-old man at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You well, don't he, get to retire! He didn't get hurt from healing people. He got hurt from being stabbed. So he could still... Way. Yeah. Right, but he, he aged himself by healing Cherik. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, so I, I think we're retreating. Sounds right. like it. I, I, yeah. I don't think we're <laughs> If we're retreating, mm-hmm. I need uh, Sir Mihail to roll a d6. I believe that's who I'm up to. Uh, and that is going to send Back you guys to the Archon's Courtyard. Um, where you guys will be battling at. Uh, so I need Sir Con to roll me 2d4. You guys will be there for six rounds. All right, so just, I'd say every turn now, just take everything in we got and just go balls to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> probably not. Um, I think in that um, instance, we probably needed maybe at least another bowman and let them come to us. Yeah, I, I think actually standing back and just letting them close the distance on in both was, of those instances yeah, that would have been a would better have been idea. Better. Uh-huh. Corner camping, as it's called. Yeah, because like moving in gave a lot of them a free round of attacks where you guys couldn't mm-hmm. do anything, yeah. and yep. that really screwed us over. Yeah, so no more charging in, and this is ah. coming from the guy who always Damn. charges in. I, I I was just moving up to just cover Mihail because he, he was going to get slaughtered if I didn't move up. Yeah. No, I get it. So it's Mihail's fault. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I agree. I completely agree. Yeah. yeah. Blame it on the general. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys are running towards the Archon's courtyard. You know that the Vukari have made it that far into the city, and you're going there to clear it. Uh, so you guys will need to choose what allies you're calling to assist you as you leave Domar to continue the battle against the generals outside the city gates. Good luck, buddy! <laughs> Have fun! Uh, See ya. Just, just know in your ally sheet, uh, for whatever reason, I can't take off the 10 HD swordsman or uh, Domar, but those ones are not available. Sure. Okay, so what are we taking right now? What's What, what, what are we left with? Uh, we got two... 10 HD Axemen, two Bowmen, two Healers, a Jarek, and then one more 20 HD Swordsman. Yep. And I feel like we have to win this to take our armies with us. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it might be a good idea to go heavy handed to make sure we blow through whatever I'm shows thinking up. so. Yeah. Okay, so we're grabbing both archers? I think we grab both archers. Okay. Mm. Who's commanding archers? Well, it's between you and I. So, that's fine. You go ahead. Um, That leaves us with two axemen. Of 10 HD, one axeman, 8 HD. No, the 8 HD is not there. Todd took that one already. Eremir took one 110 and one 8. Take the two um, 10 HD. Yeah, I'll take the two 10 HD Axemen. All right. I really think Eretmir should be using something with a six to hit because he gets that to his bonus. I Yeah. Eretmir, take the 20 HD Swordsman as well because we don't have the 10 HD Swordsman. 
So you want him with three companies? Or give or me one of his give him me his eight HD and put or one okay. of the ten H one of the two, right? Take and the I'll, um ten. Because that at least put, increases your number. Uh, if I get the if I get the swordsman with the six HD, I mean I get the max bonus that I can get. But I think it's, take the, if we if we the, have if we have higher dice, I like I mean split between us, we're probably going to do better than having one person. Because if I roll all my dice and get all the hits, I only do that to one target. Yeah. So spreading out the dice. So I think you want to take better. eight, and I'll take the ten, and you take the twenty. Is that um, what you want? Yeah, that's fine. Give me the twenty HD and the eight. I'll or take I mean, two tens. Yeah, you take two tins and so we're down to one ten HD zero eight in reserve. Yeah, zero Bowman, zero Domard, zero Domard. So two take, healer. So you guys are have, we taking no healers this time? I think we should take a healer. Okay, take, so take, take a healer. Yeah, and we're leaving the Jarek. I, I think I really think Mahal should take Jarek. You get, you have a Jarek and Axeman and a healer left. Yeah, that sounds right. throw it all in. <laughs> I, I really uh, think you need to take. I mean, I know you got a twenty HD. I could take a Jarek. That's fine. You want to take a Jarek? Um. Yeah. Okay. Qu question on this map: Are we going to be able to run through like the fountain here? No, you got to go around it. Okay. Can we reposition ourselves? Sure. Okay. So I'm going to move Dawn back behind the fountain. So just to be clear, you guys have one Axeman left and one Healer left in reserves. That should be fine, yeah. Yeah, that would be fine for next. <laughs> Especially if we fight a gold dragon. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Maybe we'll roll one again and get to go back there to hunt down. All right. Okay. Are rolling we happy this with this? Okay. Man, are we, are we good with this? I'm, I'm fine with it. I mean, we're doing it. We're doing it live, right? <laughs> so yeah, doing it live. Yeah. This is what it is. Fudge. All right, so our heroes go sprinting across the city, passing by the Carrion, or, I'm sorry, yeah, by the Carrion Council, the Temple of Marhina, to the Archon's uh, courtyard where there is a battle raging. They come inside to find a couple of light cavalry and armored Vukari and several Lightfoot Vukari fighting others within there. You come in as reinforcements. Um, and at the top of the round, we have one of the Light Vukari take notice of Eretamir coming in first with his swordsman and the Axeman. It is going to move in your direction 40 foot and attack you. We are going to roll at the highest point first since you have those swordsmen there with you. Attacking that company, and it does three damage immediately to your D20 Jesus. swordsman. You gotta see which swordsman you got. You're the ones there. All right. Eretmir, you're up. All right. Um, I thought I had the math figured out here, so that's um, eight minus three. So what? 33? Yeah. All right. Um, Win. Uh, that's, a, that's a five HD on that guy. Right? Yeah, that's a five to hit. Yeah. Yeah, five to hit on him. All right, let me get this corrected. Uh, Josh, you dropped the damage on my swordsman. Did I? I look at it twice. I, I would say it's dead. Yeah, uh, you killed that at 10. You did 14. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm a little bit upset with what happened to the last battle, okay? We might have. Might have been a little bit overkill. You shared something with those axemen <laughs> by the gate. It's all lost now. <laughs> it's uh, all one, lost now. One of the armored Vicari moves forward, and that is going to put Sir Mihail up next. All right, so we're going to move up on the armored Vicari here <laughs> and do three. Yeah, 26 excellent. and I did three. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, that's about right, you know? The, yeah, you think I about mean, it. You didn't have the fives. Did you remember to use your swords? Oh, no, I just kicked it. Right. Yeah, it's that's the weapons the that do the damage. We keep forgetting about that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Don, you are up next. The light Bukhari are flying in the light foot, and you're up with your bowman in the back. Uh, I'm going to hit the light cavalry on the other side of the fountain there. So I think I get uh, 16 plus myself is 19. Mm -hmm. And which nice. one are you hitting? The, the light cavalry. Light cavalry on the other side. The griffins. Oh, got one yeah. Left. Those he things does. are like kaboom. What damage you've done. They're so easy to kill. Yeah. <laughs> so right. hard. That thing isn't dead. You hit it for nine. It had That's 10 HD. 10. 10. 10. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> um, you know what? Sircon is just going to reposition, protect the bowman, and he will stay back here. <laughs> just got, oh, I, I see what happened. The axeman got really big in the side of my screen. I wasn't sure what happened. Oh. No. Yeah, right, they're, so protect, they're protecting their range. All right. Light Vukari is moving around. Gets to here. And that is going to put us up to the next round. Light Vukari moving the rest of the direction to attack the axeman. With one. With one. And it's going to roll a six. It does. Yeah. Yep. No, of there course it, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking, why not, right? You can't play these games yeah, against Joshua. It's just not possible. Baloney. <laughs> Mihail, you are up. I've rolled so All many right. sixes on single die rolls. I didn't say you to Vegas. And we get like one or two with 20 plus dice. I know. Yeah, I know. All right. Uh, so we're going to go after the armored Bukhari here. Yeah. Here we nice go. Damage. Uh, yeah, five kills it. Nice. All right. That's Very great. good. Sircon. Uh, Sircon's going to go for this guy. So I got 10, 23. Is that right? Yep, that's yeah. right. For those of you that can't see, yeah, this guy is the light cavalry Bukhari that came up. Yeah, on. well, yeah, that's I who I'm attacking, the, so. I shot the shit out of it. This guy doesn't get a name until after death. And then we call him. I was waiting for Todd to jump in. I was trying to think of something. But... Robert Paulson. What? <laughs> Blood right. smear? That kills him. <laughs> what do you mean, what? You don't have a death until or a name until after you die. It's Robert His Paulson. name was Robert Paulson. Yeah. yeah but what, what name is that? Is that a <laughs> it's reference to something? Fight Club. Fight Club. Uh, <laughs> God, I haven't seen that movie in ages. That's <laughs> a terrible movie. All right. Uh, Aramir is going to move up, and we're going to use all uh, 33. And <laughs> on, that, on, on this, this one. <laughs> foot, so that's a five. All right. So we probably uh, should get one, two, maybe. Probably more than that. Yeah. Oh, All right. God. You murder that one. Don, you are finally up. There's one guy left on the battlefield. Sircon killed the cavalry. You killed the, the wrong right one again. You killed the wrong one, Josh. Oh. Yeah, just shoot across the screen. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Eric Mears axemen chuck their axes across the fountain. <laughs> That's what we did, yes. They kill them so bad that can... the other one flies across. by surprise. <laughs> Come on, Don. Three. Oh, he's still Three. alive! Oh my god. I always leave him with a little left, just so that... Uh, so Are you, did you use the basket arrow? Don't worry, he'll roll a six. <laughs> he doesn't get to attack, I don't think. He, oh, maybe he does. Yeah. yeah. No, they get their full movement to attack. We have to get, we get half. <laughs> Alright, now he gets to go again. <laughs> that. so, yeah, that's where it is. He still misses. Oh, thank goodness. I get to go right. now. Yeah, Sir Khan. Sir Khan, I had to up. leave you something. <laughs> I'm going to miss them all. Unless, oh. There we <laughs> go. What? That does it. He is dead. You guys now get an additional D6. Yay. And here rolls again. Thank him. So let's roll a D4. Round five. Yeah, Sir Khan, D4. Let's see where we're going. Uh, do we want to heal before we go to the next map? You guys have time to. Oh. Okay. I think you said uh, we, do, we do have time too. Right? Yeah, you, you guys have lots of rounds left, so you have time to heal. I think you gave the swordsman 17. <laughs> yeah, I was looking yeah, at the you really daddy. fucked up the swordsman. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here you go. All right, so you will have 12 rounds. You are just shifting over to the carrying council where there are Bukhari fighting up the steps, trying to get in and attacking people. Just take us all. Take them all. Yeah, just load up the map. 
<laughs> God damn it. Fuck it. We, we got 12 rounds. We might as well take what we've got. Because we only yeah. have one fight after this anyway, right? Yep. <laughs> Let's just hope we don't have to retreat. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> if we have to retreat. So we What's have our, one, we had one 10 one? HD uh, Axeman left, right? Uh, you guys had a 10 HD Axeman that was left. And a healer. And, and, a, and healer. a healer. All right, so the healer just goes on the map, which is fine. Who Who's taking the 10 HD Axeman? I'll do it. Yeah, I would say that'd be good. That way we're, again, spreading the dice around more to more targets versus... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, everyone's where they need to be at. We can roll initiative. You guys are going to run down the street and see that there's actually hardly anyone left over here. There is just a heavy foot and two unarmed that have been assailing, trying to get into the carrying council. Um, you can see that they have made it in. They've destroyed some things. Now they're back out fighting more people again um, in the temple of Marquina. And we are going to start with Don, who's rushing up where his mother and daughter were supposed to be secure and safe. You're at the top yeah. of the round. Uh, so I'm going to split my archers uh, going after the unarmed on either side. Okay. Um, we'll do eight plus myself, which will be 11 for the first one, which will be the top <laughs> one, we'll say. That kills him. And then the bottom one will be nine, I believe, because that'll be the plus one we got plus yep. the normal. Nice. And that will kill him. Good job. Yeah, that leaves only the heavy foot who is next up. He comes charging down towards Ertemir and his axemen, and he successfully does one damage against them. And I'll put Sirkon up. All right. Um, that's a... Is he a six? He's a six. Ooh, yeah. That is three damage. And I'll put up there at mirror. And the heavy foot is a six to hit? Yep. All right. Well, Eredmir, you uh, kill the final guy that's standing there outside of the carrying council with lots of rounds to spare. And that is going to bring this piece to a halt before you move back to the east gate for the final battle where you see dragons flying over in the distance um anything is that you guys want to do here before you move in that direction i oh. say we top off the swordsman uh oh yeah sure that, that's yeah. that that is my suggestion we kill since that we see, since we well we see dragons coming in we i mean well we can just take it off the guy who has six so we have one with two and one with four yeah, yeah, so we don't yeah, kill so it went off. Yeah. Did yeah, we roll the number of rounds? It, it would be pretty... Well, we can roll the number of rounds to see how far we get with it. Well, if it's the last one, does the timing really matter? Like, we'll have to fight it until Dragon... I guess it could retreat after so long? It has a curfew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to get it's... back to its baby. It's one of those helicopters. <laughs> it's gonna be the blue dragon it is pissed because it ate its young that's great got indigestion yeah okay so the heroes go running through Leerheim from the carrying council um, or from the Tibo Marquina to the east wall where they see a giant gold dragon flying overhead as well as a red dragon flying overhead. Uh, they are both moving uh, over the city walls back and forth, shooting their breath weapons with their three heads curling downwards uh, towards the citizens below. You guys have mustered your forces, taking what companies you have left to make your way to the walls and defend against the final onslaught of the Bukhari invaders. Um, as you guys make your way up onto the wall, you have the dragons flying around, as well as some of the few remaining generals that are there. But Hale, you do see that Domard is down there where you left him, lying dead in the dirt, along with the rest of the company that you had there. Uh, they fought to the death against those final members outside of the walls. Uh, Don, you have been reassured as you moved away from the Carrion Council that Mead and your mother, as well as the members of the Carrion Council, are uh, safe within, and they were not harmed. Um, and Sirkon, uh, you were told as you were leaving by your own mother 
um, a similar message that was shared uh, to Mihail earlier that the gold dragon needs to fall. So not to let it escape. If you can, you guys make your way to the walls, climb up onto the ramparts, and we are rolling initiative. Where the hell's the ninth council on all of this? Just hanging out. Just, I mean... They're, they're all watching need, okay? <laughs> and all of them except for Dawn's mother. She fucked off somewhere. Yeah, right? <laughs> Let's just assume they're all fighting. All right, you guys are okay. the heroes of this story. Okay. Uh, wow, Sircon, you are at the top of the turn order. I'm gonna hold my action. Okay. Waiting for them to come in closer. That puts up Sir Mahal. Yeah. Next. yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna have to hold an action, and I'll probably make a battle cry of "Bring the gold bastard down" or something. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, that will bring up one of the Lightfoot Bukhari flying forward. Uh, not far enough to actually make it to the wall. Uh, down below, you have an armored Bukhari moving across the ground, having the same issue. Uh, another Lightfoot Bukhari from the north flying down, heading towards the top of the wall, but it is not able to make it completely to you. And Don, that takes you and your bowmen into the turn order. Okay. Um, I will use uh, uh, I'll use my 2d6 plus uh, mine um, toward the Lightfoot Vukari and okay. one company which will put me at uh, 15 I think Okay. towards him and that is 4 against him that does make him fall okay and then the remaining 8 that I have will go towards the uh, dragon, the red dragon back there. The red dragon in the back. Which that... I don't think is enough because I need 2d6, right? You do, you need 2d6 yeah. to do one damage. So he uh, just brushes off him with the arrow volley that comes at him. And okay. that brings up the gold dragon who comes flying in from the north to attack Mihail oh. and his guys. Which we held an action. Do we get to attack? You did. Yeah, so did Sircon. Oh, no. Is he in my range? Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Let me see where you're at. I'm right next to Mahale. Yeah, absolutely. He's up here All on top right. of this thing. Holy Jesus. How many is that? So, 36 D6 for Mahale? So three? Three yeah, damage. Three damage to the gold dragon as he's coming in. And another and two. And another damage. two. Nice. Take a great. third of his health as soon as he comes in. Yeah, that is a great start. Uh, and so now is... he roasts all of us. Yep. He, he gets uh, the HD for three heads, so they each get to do like yeah, 15. So it's 30, 30 D6. Yeah. 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 See you guys. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> Josh is like, oh, wait, yeah, I never right. thought of I... that. No, no. I'm like, how did you get 30? Because <laughs> he had 15, he lost five, but he still has three heads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I always say in my head, I was like, you got 45. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's going to oh, be. Oh, he does. Oh, okay. He literally oh, gets he that? Does. Are you yeah, kidding me? Yeah, he literally does. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. So that Come is. On. Don't you know we're screwed? Ross <laughs> <laughs> just likes torturing us. I like to make it challenging for you. I got to make yeah, sure. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> Where's that healer at? We're, we got a healer, right? We got a healer. <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> I think he dead. just got toasted. At least mine. Did. He retired early. Where'd yours yeah. go? God, which one of these is your guy for the swordsman? You guys both don't have a number on it. I don't have a swordsman, so that's shame on you guys for not putting a number on that darn swordsman. <laughs> Man, it's rough. Okay, I, I had to get to one of them. We'll see what happens. So rough being you with all I those know. dice. I know. All right, here comes the red one. Coming in from uh, the other side. Hey, Don, you should run. Yeah, I can't do shit. Uh, and this one is going to unleash on these archers. Yeah, I think you're toast. Yeah, well, quite literally, I think. Yeah. I'm sure you'll be fine. 40, 45 D6. Mm -hmm. A lot of low numbers. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're all dead. Completely well, wiped out one archer company. Yeah, it takes out one yeah. of the Bowman company. Did four damage then, to the other one. half of the rest of the companies for the other one. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Eretmir is going to one shot the guy, so it's fine. Get him, oh, Eretmir. Yeah. yeah. Eretmir comes Do walking it. across the wall, swordsman um, and axemen around him. Eretmir goes this way. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> please run the battlefield. <laughs> uh, Does yeah. Eretmir, hang on. I didn't roll. We did. Did you? Did anybody else roll their extra two d six? Because I didn't. But that's beside the point. Uh, I did on mine. Um, does Eretmir get an extra two d six because there's dragons on the field? <laughs> I'm afraid. Not. <laughs> Damn. I nice right. try. Uh, but, I like yeah, it. you guys, you guys should have an extra two d six each on the gold cavalry, right? Um, yeah. if you didn't roll them, yeah, yeah, um, you just need to roll two sixes to do one damage. <laughs> So 39, okay, I'm at 39. I want to make sure. You got, you got your 2d6 that are on it? All right, and this is a six. It is a six. All right. Two sixes in order to do one damage. Look, well, I had the, my the red is a five. On there. Oh, no, it's not. It's, <laughs> All right. sorry. Here we go, here we go. What was I looking at? I don't see any sixes. Oh, there's a few of them. All right, there's three. Is. Three damage three to the damage. red dragon. Woo! Yay! I hit something. All right, the heavy foot in the back are running up. We don't even care about you guys anymore. Is there a gate there? Out of curiosity, there, there is. Yeah. Okay. Don, is, is, is it a one gate? Is there any possibility it's of two. falling back with my bowman? Can I? Can I like retreat? Yeah, you can retreat. Do I take damage? No, no. no <laughs> Jump over to that there. roof. Okay, so we're just gonna move back <laughs> here a little ways. Uh, I've got four left on that guy, plus me and my 2d6 is, I think, nine. Mm hmm. You probably kill him. Yeah. I'll I just, believe. Uh, I'll, if I get lucky, I'll do one damage against the dragon. Yay! You got lucky. Yeah. One damage. You got lucky. <laughs> and you hit him where the scale was popped up, and it went straight through his heart, and he died. Right. That was Smaug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, here goes my units. No, that's that's alright, mine are next. Well, at least he's taking some damage now. Yeah. Alright, coming after Erdmir and his units. You leave my unit alone, sorry. Wow! wow. That's that's great. Two Dude, that is awesome. damage! Nice! He's rolling, he's rolling like we've been rolling. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see here. You gotta find your swordsman here. There they are. You can put it on the wrong one, that's fine. I probably am, and I don't even know it. All right, uh, then the gold one at top. This is all going yeah. to hail, right? Not me. Yeah, this is at the hail. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I, I was kidding, but. <laughs> Fuck. Still, yeah. oh still my God. not. I mean, it's bad, but it's not. It's yeah. Really worse. Yeah. All right, this is going to put up the heavy foot as they're moving forward on the gates. And from the hail, you're up. There. You guys have fun on the gates. We'll we'll get you later. <laughs> <laughs> they won't even make it through the gates in twelve turns. Um, All right. I'm gonna use two mana to upcast. All right. To add two d six. All right. That's a good call. And we are going to hit the dragon for two, two damage. damage. Two damage. I also want to remind you that you have Jarek in your party who can also upcast. Just FYI. I think he will hold off on that for now. He wants but to retire as Jarek, well. If Jarek upcast, it actually decreases his HD, right? It does. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's not that's not really worth it. No. All right. No, unless on. we're in a desperate spot. Uh, I'm going to upcast, use two mana as well. Right, mana please. tracker guy. So rolling 29... Ooh, on the gold dragon and one damage. One damage. Wow. I yep. did the same as you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I had a third of your dice. Yeah. You want to rub that in a little more there, bud? <laughs> that only really cost me 10 years off my life on top of it. <laughs> I know, <right>? Yeah. <laughs> oh, another damage to your swordsman. Oh, there's a bird up there. I forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's... Um, I think he's put that on out. the wrong swordsman. Oh, did I? Eric, maybe yeah. Um, okay. I gotta... I'll try and deal with it next round. Okay. Yeah. All 
I, I think I, that's right. Okay. Oh, I appreciate Going it. Going for the dragon. Uh, Very nice. good. Nice. nice. Three. Three damage. Um, I forgot I have a healer. My healer would have used... I, I'm, I'm burning my entire healer on that 20 <laughs> HD sword on... He doesn't get a retire. No, fuck no, that guy. No, from Sircon. Uh, no, Sircon. <laughs> which, which healer is yours? Uh, mine's the 4 HD. Alright, and who are you giving it or to? Or it has 4 left, I should say. Yeah. And it's using all 4 on Mihail's Swordsman, which is I'll missing 8. 8, alright, gotcha. So it's, yeah. I just see him being like the healer right. on Indiana Jones, where he, you know the drink from the wrong cup, and it's like. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's you actually kind of how I picture what happens when these people. You get no symp sympathy from from Sir Khan for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the gold dragon is attacking again the company of Mahale, uh, and does six damage to the swordsman. That you just how, see, uh, how are we in a new round already? Are we already in a new round. Yeah, we're firing. Yeah. Cow. <laughs> well, most of the, the, the other Vukari are just standing at the gates. I suppose that's true. We're helping! <laughs> so that... Dur furiously. Jesus, that poor swordsman. Yeah, yeah the, uh, the healing didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> and the red dragon comes down... Oh, to yeah! yeah. <laughs> it really helped that we doused ourselves in water before we came out to fight. And yeah, we also, poured the buckets on ourselves. Like, it also helps that me. you didn't douse you, yourselves in oil to sunbathe. Right. I know the rest of the, like the people cannot see the dice roll, so he did one damage out of all the dice that the red dragon rolled. Everyone just like shouts in victory, and no one knows why. So, uh, um, <laughs> can can Eric, Mir, and Mahale like switch bots? Like, <laughs> uh, we're a little busy right now. Okay. <laughs> We're we're taking on a dragon by ourselves. All right. <laughs> hey, I, I've been through. helping. Well, I, yeah, yeah, dragon. but I mean, like, we're we're just right there, front and center, like. But yes, you're helping. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah you're, you're standing up. behind your axeman, Eric. Very brave. I somehow doubt that, actually. Okay, so I'm. <laughs> Well, Eric he's Mir probably up front missing a lot. He, I was I'm all say, the Eric Mir is is all uh -huh. the missed dice rolls in that yeah, mix. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta give him something for enthusiasm. Yeah, that was a little bit of a downer yeah. there. One damage there on the red dragon. Sir Mihail, you're up. Uh, on the gold dragon. Oh, two damage nice. on the gold dragon from Mihail and his company. Now it's a race. Who kills the dragon first? Zircon. It won't be us, because we got me in there. <laughs> Going for the goldie. Oh, Whoa, yeah. wow. damage. That, oh my gosh. He's got to be close. How low is he? He's got two life left. He's got it, yeah. Don. Okay, come. Don, kill the dragon. <laughs> come on, Don. We got we to gotta pick it up. We're behind. <laughs> He'll steal. He'll steal. <laughs> He'll steal. I'm going to try and dragon. kill steal. Um, I don't think I will. Uh, I I'm gonna dump three mana into this, so it's gonna give me twelve. Oh goodness! Oh, oh boy. okay. Oh, I see oh, oh damage. Damage. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> and it's gonna boil down to yes. Oh my gosh! At the top of the round, it boils Sir down to initiative. Up. Oh, yep. they were a oh, terrible god. initiative. All right, here we go. Get I hope you guys get this because I'm dumping, I'm dumping three man into this. <laughs> oh God! The saggiest balls of it. <laughs> that kill that'll kill it. The gold dragon. Yeah. As Sir Khan powers his company with Kaldasavo and slaughters it. So lucky with that because they would have retreated uh, with that much life left. That is beautiful. Eric, Eric Mir, you are up with the red dragon in front of you. One of the dragons <laughs> is down. You are sensing the, the turn of the dragon. Oh, I saw oh, some six. Oh, 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 yeah. Four damage. Eight. Uh, yeah, and half is four. So four damage yeah. to the red yeah. dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Done. How low is the red dragon? We've got three life left. I can't do that. There's no way. Maybe if you cast a little bit more mana. No, I don't have it. <laughs> 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 he spent a lot of mana. I'm just, I'm doing. They're already stuff starting to hang him. low. He can't give anymore. He's nope, only used three no, today, nothing. right? No, I've used six. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, All right, Storm and Hail, that puts you up. You were the last uh, last company here before the Bukhari go. And the dragon. Now you get a kill steal. Well, he well I don't have any way to get over to the dragon. You can't walk across the top? I mean, he, uh, he, I think there's uh, going through that the companies. Way the too oh, yeah. That's true. Like, movement. <laughs> Excuse us, coming through, parting! <laughs> Move to the right! <laughs> he starts throwing people over the walls. Axe checking. <laughs> That's it. Uses void magic and blows everyone off the wall so you can just run up there. You do have that uh, <laughs> light foot next to you. Yeah. I, I didn't deal with him, Greg. <laughs> yes, I, didn't busy. I got distracted All right. trying to kill Steel and failing. I'll go for the, the, the light feet there. Ah, uh, and no <laughs> hits with well, 22. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait. I did hit six. One. Oh, you rolled the wrong one. Yeah, the, those yeah. four. Let me see. There's the three, five, three fives in there. Yep. Uh, three fives does not kill it. Yep, you needed a five to hit, so it is still alive. All right. So that will put up uh, the light foot against you. And it will miss. Uh, the red dragon will beat its wings, uh, flying up into the air uh, with one final breath weapon uh, at. Can we the... use any magic to make him not leave? And he will. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not your turn, no. Uh, but he will. He will attack. Oh, come on. Attack of opportunity as he runs. They actually have an ability to beat their wings and fly up without getting attacks of opportunity. That's lame. Yeah, but we also have an ability that we do the chicken wing, and it negates that. Like, we're all flapping chicken wings. But Red it, dragons it are very prideful. Uh, they are. But they, they are. are. But they will yeah, also... loser, get back but, here. He'll be back. All right. <laughs> uh, but with the two dragons leaving the battlefield and being defeated, uh, the gold one falls to the ground, and the rest of the Bukhari will uh, abandon this battle and flee. And so that will leave you victorious in protecting Leerheim uh, from this onslaught until the next one comes. I mean, the summer is not over, so you don't imagine that this will be the end of it. Bizarre. This is just the, the opening ceremony. Yeah, yeah, we've got like 30 soldiers left. We'll be fine. <laughs> now, how big is this gold dragon? Uh, this is a, actually, uh, let me pull this up for you. This is great. That's a great question. This is actually uh, an adult gold dragon. Uh, this is uh, Zaiwei, the golden dragon. He's actually a named dragon. He's considered one of Wolos's most precious dragons that you have slaughtered. Nice. Do you think that anyone's gonna mind as we go down and start skinning it? <laughs> I mean, Erdemir is already going down, I, but how long is it? Uh, it, it's long. I, I would have to pull up the exact rule. Oh, okay. You know, Aramir is looking, measuring the tail to see if that could work for his cod piece, because he feels <laughs> like... Now, the claws and such of these dragons is poisonous to us, right? The skin, it's poisonous to you. But not so, to Aramir. But not to Aramir. Yeah, he's rolling around on the body, the dead body, like... <laughs> I can touch it. You can't. Ah. Yeah. So how they plan on using the skin for a book? We. I, yeah, I'm, I'm confused. It's, uh, it's they said that there was magic that allowed them to um, handle it because that's what they said when we first got the dragon. For you guys not to touch uh, it, but they had magic that okay, would protect them. So yeah. I need to get a dragon tooth off this guy and have them do that magic, <laughs> so I can wear it. Yeah, I think the tooth isn't going to hurt you. It's yeah, Dwarf Face specifically wanted this one. This dragon is actually 64 feet long. He's a bastard. Yeah, he's big. So, I really want to chop a, the head off and mount the temple. That's got three heads. Uh, it is 10 years old, a 64 foot long dragon. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Aramir would probably knock out a few teeth. If you want a tooth, he'd give it to you. You know. Oh, yeah, I would totally uh, get a, a gold Joshua, dragon. Can I can I find a dead Bukhari somewhere in the city that I can suck off to get three mana back? Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, I don't think that it will complain. Okay. All right, <laughs> <laughs> that is our show for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks again for hanging out uh, here on Dungeon Brew with the Ninth Ascension. We are taking next week off um, of gameplay, so there will be a week in between. So again, this is our. Um, 
what's we're looking for, John? It's our, our mid season. Mid season yeah, break. Mid season break. So we will be back again in a couple of weeks to continue the story of the Ninth Ascension. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys again next time. And the rest of you guys get to level. In the realm of Aenar, nestled within the expanse of tapestry of Thrice Nine Lands, the Gilded Age is coming to an end. In the coastal city of the Arrhim, ageless Duhians, devout to the Frozen Witch, harness the power to wield the same energy that stitches together reality. Yet winds of change whisper the name of Volos, the Horned God. The Ninth Council rises, and our heroes, staunch Carrion loyalists, embark on expeditions to safeguard Duhian history while defending against their wicked enemies. The celestial dance of Marhina's worshippers is disrupted by the growing shadow of Volos, and the imminent clash between the Carrion and Ninth Councils threatens to reshape the very fabric of Aenar. Amidst this turmoil, our heroes navigate treacherous landscapes, from the frozen vase where dragons roam to the hidden conclaves of the bloodthirsty skinsfitches. Each expedition reveals fragments of a forgotten past, hidden truths, and the intricate connections between Stuhian magic and the Divine Realms. As the Stuhians grapple with the choice between allegiance to Mahina or Volos, loyalty becomes a precious commodity. Our Carrion heroes, entrusted with preserving Stuhian heritage, face moral dilemmas, forge unlikely alliances, and confront the shadows that lurk within their own ranks. The world of Aenar awaits, a canvas painted with hues of enchantment and conflict. Will our heroes unravel the secrets that bind Thrice Nine Lands, or will they succumb to the inevitable tide of a revolution? Brace yourself for an epic, episodic tale, where our every choice resonates across the realms, shaping the destiny of Aenar itself.